Hey everybody, West Boss here. Thanks so much for checking out the CSS Grid. Uh, a couple things before we get going. First, thank you so much to Firefox for sponsoring uh, this course. The reason why they are free is because they have sponsored my time in order to create them. We're going to be using their dev tools all throughout this course because they are fantastic when dealing with CSS Grid. A couple other things to get the most out of this course. The, all the videos are captioned. So if you like captions on your videos, if you need the captions on your videos, make sure you turn those on uh, and you'll be able to, to read what I'm saying as at the same time that I'm speaking through it. Um, second, post your progress on Twitter and Facebook. I always like to see how far people are getting through the course, what they've learned, what they really enjoyed, what they didn't like. I'm at West Boss on Twitter and the hashtag for this course is hashtag Grid up G R I D D Y U P. Uh, what else do we got here? Pay it forward. Um, what we really need in terms of the CSS grid on the internet is lots and lots of content out there. So, uh, whether you're writing a review of this course or writing summaries of each of the videos or just creating your own CSS grid content on your blog or uh, on YouTube, whatever it is, I encourage you to do that and uh, share what you've learned with the rest of the people. If you would like to link back to them, there's a list in the readme on GitHub for this. You can send a pull request to link off to your blog or your to your YouTube videos. Uh, in terms of like how should you do these videos, um, it's totally up to you. Some people like to watch them all at first and then try to do uh, the exercises and the things that we've done. Some people prefer to watch them first and then watch them again and code along with me. And other people prefer just to code along with me as I'm doing it. So try a couple different ways and see what works best for you. Um, other than that, make sure you go ahead and grab a friend. If you're someone who likes to uh, take these courses with someone else, maybe have a bit of a support system and accountability buddy, we called them in the JavaScript 30 course. Uh, make sure you grab someone and uh, maybe meet up for coffee a couple times a week and, and go through them together. Other than that, I hope you enjoy the course and I'll see you in the next one.